Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Akim, out there that push this world in truth and in sincerity. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. Abarat is how you came out there that's sincere will be edified. And um, I'm just going to get straight into it. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And we out there blowing that trumpet. And that trumpet we blowing is the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. This truth, man. We out there telling you. What's going to before you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, what's going to before Esau and the rest of the nations, those that dwell in the land of America, destruction is coming. And you have, this is a melting pot. So you have every nation under the sun in this country that they call Babylon, that they call America, but, but it's spiritually called Babylon. And we out there telling you, out there on the highways and the byways pushing this road and we out there also telling you to do the videos we put up throughout the week and that's that trumpet that's being blown and the people that hear the words of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah some score for scorn at it some wave their hand some get put in fear and learn and grow in this thing and become a part of this thing of ours if they're part of the elect even if they're not even a part of the elect they come in why because of that fear and they're learning this thing and they, they, like I said, they grow and they be a part of this thing of ours, man. And they themselves become teachers, you know, or helps, whatever their lot is. But bottom line, we out there blowing that trumpet. And only a few, only a few, which are part of the hopeful elect, are afraid. The only time the masses are afraid is when a calamity come upon them. That's when great fear comes upon them, and then they want to get right. Then they want to seek answers. But by then, it's too late. It says, back in Amos chapter 3, verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? Now, that word evil means bad times. Shall there be bad times in the city, and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? You see, the bad times that's coming is famine, pestilence, <coughs> it's like it, pestilence, martial law, mass microchipping of the public. It's going to be made mandatory after the economy collapse, which may, may where we may be at the end of this year. Because look what's going on in the stock market. But that's another story. That's another video. The thing is, we're out there warning you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans of the evil that's coming. And all the atrocities that's being committed, all the atrocities you see on the news, the death, the floods, the hurricanes, the tornadoes, what you see happening in the Bahamas, the Lord did all of that. I'm going to read it again. It says... Should there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh not done it? So that, that great evil that befell the people in Bahamas was done by the Most High. All the floods, the earthquakes, the riots, people getting put to death, the upcoming martial law, which is going to be Jacob's trouble, is going to be done by the Most High. Bad times are coming, and we are telling y'all, but y'all don't want to hear it, man. Why? Because you're stuck on stupid. You're stuck on the ways of Esau, which is going to bring forth death. Because there are ways that seem right unto a man, but the end of that path is death. And you following Esau to destruction. We're talking about the two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and we tell y'all. What's going on? But you're scoffing, you're scorning, you're waving your hand, and you're murmuring in your breath as if the Most High can't hear you. As if the Most High don't know your thoughts. And now you sealed your fate. Like a couple of weeks ago, some crackpot 
stupid ass Jake came by in the van talking shit. Apparently he didn't know who we are, who we were, because he asked him, what's this? What kind of religion, what, what kind of religion is this? But we ignoring this dude and this dude getting mad. Why? Because we, we sensed that this dude was a demon. You know, the world is going fully, and this guy is coming around trying to create a disturbance, trying to trying to take us out of the um you know, out of the spirit and bring some some folly. So we ignored him, he fanned his hand, he sealed his fate. And that evil is going to cleave unto him, man. Where we be, where we get taken out by by the Gurkha troops, where we get tossed head first into a concentration camp, rather he die from the famine, where we die from the teeth of wild beasts, where we die from the by the sword. Because it tells you in Jeremiah the fifth the fifteenth chapter, the first verse, fifteen and three, that the most size appointing four kinds, man. Teeth of wild beast, teeth the um the sword the slay, famine. Teeth of wild beasts, the dog the tear. The most high is appointing four kinds for you Negroes, Hispanics, David Americans, man. It tells you right in Jeremiah the fifteenth chapter, the first verse. The um the fifteen and three. It tell you. The first verse on down to three. And you can read from the top because the whole chapter is bad, man. And it's telling you what's going to come down. What's 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 head of what's bef what's going to before you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the rest of the wicked that's dwelling in the land of America. The two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that are following the ways of Esau, which is the wicked. You're going to get the same punishment that the wicked is going to get. Concentrated fire from them chariots and thermal nuclear destruction. Pursuant to Jeremiah, the 25th chapter, the um, 31st verse on down to the 33rd verse, man. Because them chariots it's going to be it's going to be zapping and destroying the infrastructure as well as you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the wicked of you people. To my Esau, because he is the wicked. The slaying of the Lord is going to be from one end of the earth to the next, man. Hey, man. And that's the evil. That's the evil that I'm reading about in Amos, the third chapter, the sixth verse, man. And all this is going to be done by the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. All of this, all the death, all the destruction, all the floods, the famine, the uproars of the people, the Most High is orchestrating all that, man. The Most High is doing it. So get ready. Hunker down, fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy ride for you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that ain't right. That's a part of the Two Thirds Club. Because evils is coming. Death, destruction, and the sword is coming. And it's all going to be done by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And with that, Shalom.